in the morning, in the evening, or sometime in between. I hope that you will see some Lexi on your screen. Subscribe! How does perfection feel about Hello my beautiful chickens! Welcome back! This week I want to talk about something a little different. It's self-love. I'm going to give you my five best tips about how to love yourself. So I actually think that self-love is more of a practice. Your state of self-love is something that can really fluctuate. Sometimes it's high, sometimes it's low, and you got to make sure that it stays up there. But listen, guys, I feel like I have more self-love than I ever have in my life thus far, and that's why I can give you some tips. Yay! So tip number one, my first piece of advice is that you need to spend time with yourself. Now listen, I know some of you are looking at me and you're like, get out of town with this mess. I have been by myself for six months. I'm about to hurt you. Listen, that's all right. You can put this piece of information on pause, but I just want you to know that spending time with yourself is a great way to discover who you really are. So for me, there's a difference between spending time by yourself and spending time with yourself. Spending time by yourself is like, uh, you just ended up that way. Like you're paying bills, you're doing your taxes, you're uh, just hanging out by yourself. It's a little sad, a little lonely. But spending time with yourself is you're having a great time. It's a choice. You're having fun, fun, fun. So a great way to do that is to take yourself on dates. I promise this is not sad and pathetic because I do it. Listen, taking myself on dates is so fun. Pre-pandemic, I used to go into the dining movie house theater. And I would sit down in the leather back chair and then I would get my popcorn. I'd get myself a nice meal and I'd watch on the big screen. And uh, it was really good. A little expensive, but a good treat for me. And nowadays, um, I'm not really thinking about going to the theater, but what I do instead is I go to my favorite restaurant or takeout and sometimes I eat it in my car and I listen to music. I'm just chilling like a villain. Even if you don't naturally love being by yourself, this is a really important tip for extroverts too. Because if you are never really by yourself, if you're constantly around people, then you're never going to think deeply about who you are and who you want to be and what you like and what you dislike. And you're always going to be in other people's energy. You need to get to know your own energy. Tip number two, you need to get to know yourself. That means asking yourself cool questions like, what do I like? What do I dislike? What do I really love to do? Discover some cool new hobbies. This is really important because when you find out what lights you up whenever you're doing it, that becomes your passion. And when you're doing your passions, you feel most like yourself. And then you feel self-love. Tip number three, you need to honor yourself. Part of that is standing up for yourself. Don't let people push you around. You need to set boundaries with people. If you feel like something or someone is ruining your life, guess what? You're participatory in that exchange. One of the only things we can control in this life is our reaction to situations. So if something is ruining your life, you need to ask yourself, have I set a boundary? This applies both to people you have to be around and people that you choose to be around. For example, if somebody is continually yelling at you, guess what? You don't have to listen to it. You can straight up tell them, I'm not gonna engage with you while you're yelling at me. You can leave the room, you can hang up the call. You have choices. Another part of honoring yourself is living your principles. If you believe to your core that you're not the type of person who would lie, cheat, or steal, then don't do those things, not even for a short amount of time, because you're betraying yourself. You want to live as the highest version of yourself whenever possible, and that's how you live your principles. Along the same lines, you need to keep promises to yourself. You need to build trust and credibility with yourself. You need to know that you can rely on yourself. Would you believe someone who constantly broke their promises to you? No. So, are you going to believe yourself when you constantly break promises to yourself? No. As humans, we tend to say we're going to do something and say we're going to do something and not follow through. And then our trust in ourselves is eroded. But don't worry. 
you can always make a brand new start because you're the person who's on the other side of that equation. Every day you wake up, it's a new day, you have a new opportunity and you can make different choices. I believe in you. Don't start with something big like, I'm going to go to the gym every day for three hours when you currently go to the gym every day for zero hours. If you want to get in shape, make it easy. Tell yourself, tomorrow I promise that I'm going to show up at the gym with my gym clothes on and I'll be ready to work out. That's a great first step. When you honor yourself by standing up for yourself, living your principles, and keeping your promises to yourself, that is how you start to build self-love. Tip number four, you need to claim who you are. What does this mean? Before you even start your day, you need to be saying good things to yourself. You are awesome, you are beautiful, you're amazing, you're so smart, you can do anything you want to do. You are getting more confident day by day. And listen, it might be hard at first, I know it was for me, but you improve over time and over time you start to actually believe what you're saying to yourself. You need to say good things to yourself in the moment as well. Try not to call yourself names and talk to yourself like you would talk to your best friend. Treat yourself well and give yourself a break. Tip number five, find your mission or your purpose or your next project. You can start small, it can be anything, but what you wanna do is find something that you love. And when you're working on something that you love, you're gonna feel fulfilled. And when you feel fulfilled, you tend to like yourself. And ba 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 boom, self love. Well, those are all my tips for building self love so far. I hope that you really enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like, comment, share, subscribe. I love you, chickens. I'll see you next week. Take a little bit of me, 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 and a little bit of you, you, you. And together we can make the world into something brand new.